Hey everyone, welcome back to my Let's Play of Persona 5 Strikers. When we last left off, we uh, hit the road, Jack, and we won't be going back. That was a horrible reference. Um, no, we hit the road and we um, are on our way to, I forget, what, Sapporo, I think? Some city that we're meeting with, um, Genkichi? Genkichi? Zenkichi? Zenkichi. I'm so bad with names. We're meeting up with the uh, the uh, secret agent man at the, <laughs> the city on the date. No, on the 8th of August to, for the next jail suspect, I guess. And we stopped at uh, Sendai. Thank God it says it right here so I don't sound like a complete idiot. Um, because uh, Sophie sensed or smelled there was a jail nearby. And we're all guessing it's that author who's a douche for lack of better words and so we're basically discussing matters at the RV right now and we're gonna collect some intel and hopefully find out what the keyword is or his key code or whatever to get into Emma uh, I'm still thinking it might be something he signs on his books which he gives away to his fans so freely so to be seen uh, I'm sure we could get one if one of the girls goes up to him and is like, Oh my god, I changed my mind, you're incredible, or something, and he'll give one, I don't know. But, uh, anyway, so that's what we're gonna do. I uh, hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for your support of the series. Um, I'm very excited to keep going. I love this game. Sorry I always take the weekend off. I usually try to play some board games with my friends, or watch movies with my boyfriend, or just, you know, potato. And do my homework, I guess. Uh, but real quick, I just want to say that I, I ordered a capture card, so I should be able to start streaming PS4 games, which is pretty exciting. So I uh, look forward to some new streaming stuff in the future. Otherwise, uh, yeah, let's just keep going. I know I talk too much. All right, let's get in the camper. All right, let's go over what we know so far. A, he's a jerk. B, he's a jerk. C, he hits on girls. And D, I want to punch him. All right, good. Sophia. You can confirm there's a jail here, correct? Also, I am Futaba. Like, if you guys see, her socks are so cute. Okay, anyways, I'm, I'm focused. The smell got a lot stronger once we entered the city. So yes, I'm sure of it. And the man we met earlier, his name was Ango Natsume? I just did a quick search on him. Here's what came up. Ango Natsume, grandson to renowned writer Sogo Natsume. Currently a successful light novel author. Says the guy kicked off his career with his debut work, Prince of Nightmares, which won the grand prize in the Sokaisha Awards. This thing's selling stupidly well. It sold a million copies alone. A million? That's kind of nuts, right? Uh, he's, it's a bestseller. It's nothing special. Uh, it's a bestseller. I mean, yeah. Yeah, for someone's debut to hit numbers like that is nothing short of a miracle. I checked social media, and, well... This whole thing is kind of bizarre. Natsume's fans are probably going on some kind of rampage, right? There's a rumor that some people got beat within an inch of their lives just because they were sort of dressed like Natsume's characters. Oh my god, what? This is like Twilight. No, I'm, ki I'm kidding. Right. But the worst part is that no one stepped in to stop them. In fact, the attackers were praised for what they did. These are likely the same kinds of people who defile Masamune's statue with flyers. They clearly lack self-restraint. The fans at the station seemed really passionate, too. It was almost like they were part of a cult. I'm checking some of the online forums. It looks like there's about a hundred threads created about this dude almost every day. And they're all positive. Not only that, but all of these IP addresses are from Sendai. That's crazy suspicious. This is definitely our guy then, right? Uh, we can't be too sure. Maybe he's just that good. Um, I want to say hell yes, but, uh, sure. That's true. We haven't determined his abilities as a writer yet. If he really is just some freakishly talented writer, then the jail here has nothing to do with him. And he earned all that praise, right? But there's still a chance he's our monarch too, ain't there? That's what we're gonna find out. Tomorrow, we'll go into town and see what intel we can dig up. If he's the monarch, then there's a good chance we'll run into some victims who've had their hearts changed, just like in Shibuya. Oh yeah, we should probably let Inspector Gramps know too, huh? Good idea. He might be able to give us some other clues too. Okay, well, I guess we should all probably hit the hay. We've got a busy day tomorrow. Inspector Gramps. So... Why 
the hell are we sleeping up top? Might as well be sleeping outside. Ain't it gonna be cramped? There's nothing we can do. There isn't enough room in the car. Besides, it's not as bad as you say. Back when there were more students at the Atelier, it was quite normal for us to sleep huddled together due to a lack of space. Man, you always keep cool in the weirdest possible way. You know that? I sorry if I actually just skipped his dialogue. He talks very quietly. Come on, guys, are we really just gonna call it a night? Shouldn't we like all be playing cards till super late or stargazing or something? Ain't that the kind of shit we're supposed to do on a big trip like this? Uh, nothing we can do. Just go with it. Sleep is fun. <laughs> Sleep is fun. You're missing the point, dude. I love how he like fist bumps to that. He's like, yeah, sleep is fun. Forget it, Luigi. We're up early tomorrow anyway, so you better get some rest. Yeah, it's gonna be hot as hell with three of us and Morgana, ain't it? Very true. That fur certainly won't help things either. He's just a cat. He's not gonna do it. Wait, he's so tiny. Oh, what do you want from me? I can't help that I'm a cat. Not that I'm actually a cat, though. Guys, shut up. <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry. We decided to turn in for the night. Come on, let's pretend like we're friends. Wrong. Not like that. Like this. This. <sighs> what the hell is going on? <sighs> ah, monster cat. That's all I keep thinking about every time I see Morgana now. I fall asleep to the sound of everyone's peaceful breathing. Peaceful? They're just like snoring. Bond. Yeah, I'm sharing a camper. Let's go. Seven days. So we gotta be at the place. Awesome! Alright, made it to Sendai Station. Let's score us some leads on that smug bastard. Aww. Sheesh, take it down a notch, dude. You're bouncier than a grade schooler on summer vacation. Are you alright, Futaba? Are you not a morning person? I didn't sleep much last night. I can't get comfy without my usual pillow. Hmm. Well, it was our first night sleeping in the RV, so I suppose it's no surprise. You'll get used to it over time, I'm sure. The station is really busy for a weekday. Maybe because everyone's out from school. Hmm. The shopping arcade is only a short walk away. The Tanab Tanabata festival decorations are apparently a popular attraction for sightseers. Oh, I see. Sendai's Tanabata festival is coming up soon. Seems there's plenty of shops to draw a crowd. Perhaps we should try asking around over there. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do the same thing we do with Alice. Let's meet up again once we found something. Alright, squad up, let's go! Sherlock Holmes time! It's so cool! It's like different environments, like I like the... Oh! Begin investigation! Oh, that picture is so creepy, I love it! I need to buy more copies of Prince of Nightmares. It's hot out today. I'm exhausted. It was warm out today, too, for me. Uh, me and my boyfriend went out to Target and the comic store, and it was like 60 degrees. It was really nice. It's feeling like spring summer. Or sprummer. Hey, look, it's the person in the, uh, oh, Yukata. Oh, God. They just disappear if I get too close. Ah, uh, hey, what's going on, Makoto? Oops. What a crowd. I wonder what's going on. It feels a bit off, I guess. It's hard to do all the girls' voices differently because it's just like too many girls. I need to buy every last one. Then maybe Ango will finally notice me. If I don't hurry, I'll miss his book signing. What did you say? Natsume is doing a book signing? Okay, I just gave them Morgana's voice. <laughs> Sorry, Morgana. Search complete. Natsume will be holding a book signing nearby and it's happening very soon. Really? Wait, is that why they're all here? The bookstore is in a mall named Porto, and the event starts in one hour. I see. Alright, Akira, let's come back here when we're done collecting rumors. Will do. 
27%. Hey, ah, uh, photobomb. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, Sasa Kamaboko sign. God, my eyes don't work. The Sendai specialty, Sasa Kamaboko. The meat looks so real. Mm. Yeah. Hello there. How's it going? Ah, uh, thank you. Purifying ash. Okay. A deodorant that hides your presence. <laughs> Slightly decreases jail security level. Oh, that's cool. Hot spot, Sendai. A magazine with thrilling info about Sendai Hot Spring. Increases showtime gauge. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder by how much. Is that what you want? You can buy two of them. I might Thank wait. You very much. I'll keep that in mind though. That's pretty cool. I wonder if it I mean like if it increases it a lot. I might get that for the boss fight, honestly. Uh, did you buy what you're looking for? Come back any time. Yeah, sure, I will. I might come back to buy that. Let's see. I know sometimes the store is a uh, Yutan restaurant. Oh yeah. This is where we came for beef tongue. We'll have to come back one day. Uh, welcome. Get your Yutan. Oh my God, Yutan right here. Thank again. Oh God, cooking recipes from shops. Some cooking recipes can be sold in local shops. Don't miss the opportunity to buy them whenever you can find them. Okay. Uh, if you miss out on any recipes, it's still possible to buy them from Sophia's online shop. However, be aware that obtaining them this way will be much more expensive. Okay. Uh, I don't know if there's any trophies related to getting recipes and, like, making stuff, but I will probably buy them when I see them. Feels a uh, 50 HP to one ally. Damn. Uh, an ingredient used for cooking. Is this the recipe? Oh, that's good. Yeah, I'll buy that's it. Something smells delicious. Maybe I should sit down and try it. What a coincidence. Wait. Are you planning on ordering Gyutan stew? Then allow me to join you. I hear that beef tongue, when softened in stew, is simply divine. I must confirm this for myself. I enjoyed eating Gyutan stew with Yusuke. Oh, bond level increase! Let's go! What in superb! Truly superb, Akira! I feel a flash of inspiration. I must cook! Um, should I buy the ingredients? Oh, How many can I buy? Good. Two? Yeah, we'll buy, we'll buy them just so like, I mean, that's pretty good. 50 HP. I'm, I'm not that mad at that. Alright, success. Uh, let's see. Can I go down mm -hmm. there? There's a bus and taxi terminal down there. I see lots of cars near the station. Okay. Uh, let's see. Who else can we listen to? Who else is creepy and talking about the dude? Those posters of him? I don't think so. Uh, there's the station... Keep trying to rotate the camera. Oh, there we go. Uh, grumble, grumble. Who's grumbling? Are you grumbling? You're fine. Alright. I already talked to that lady over there. So let's see. Hello? Anyone else want to talk to me about the dude? Oh, you seem like you'd be. No, she's just chilling. Alright. She seemed a little bit more high def, so I thought I could talk to her. Oh my god, is that... On their bags, it looks like, um... Oh no, that I was thinking of someone from a completely different series. <laughs> it looked like Sharia from Tales of Graces, and I was like, why is she on their shopping bags? But that wouldn't make any sense. Uh, real quick, I see Ryuji over there with the velvet room, so we'll go talk to him. Let me see. He's grumbling. Mm -hmm. Why? Why do they do this? Why do this to me, my honey pie? <laughs> oh god, we swore our love to each other here. You told me how special I was to you, so why? What did I do wrong? Okay. I love hearing depressing things. Elevator. This is an elevator, but it won't take you down to the shopping arcade. Okay. Thank you. I like how she tells me where it won't take me instead of where it will take me. <laughs> that makes sense. I was gonna talk to Ryuji. Can I run faster? No, I can't. I can't sprint out in public with my cat. All right. Ryuji. Can I go this way? No. Ryuji. Oh, everyone's over here. Okay. I was like, where the heck is? Oh, what's going on? Oh, I can't. Oh, can I? Welcome. Please, this way. What's going on, Lavenza? Lorenza? Welcome to Lavenza? the room. <laughs> Did I mess it up? I don't, I'm so bad. Uh, let's see. Can I have any of them? Yeah, let me register them all. Would you like to... Uh, yes. This persona oh, has I may have just over saved on one of the ones Awaken that I made before. Okay, so let's see. We can make Quapo. There's Barith. Barith is the uh let me see, let's do by level, yeah. Barith is the is the oop Hold on. Uh do, 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 do. confirm. Confirm. It seems that it can gain what that was weird. Power. I just wanna see what he looked like. Yeah, okay, so I don't know if I want him because he's melee. I think I wanted Hua Po because it of her seems that it can gain new power. Yeah, am Rita drop. Let's let's try and make her. Uh yeah. Choose which 
Okay, we'll do it. Um, we'll give her Aha and we'll give her Sai. Yes, I'm sure. Please don't People fail. We'll know right away because if I can skip. No, is it gonna fail again? No, why? Twice in a row? Damn, what did I do to deserve? Unless I can't skip. But, I mean, they've always had the skip option in the previous games. I'm pressing like every button. Oh, please don't fail. Ah. Why does it have to fail? Am I not uh, like? Do they not want me to make Quapo? I guess I get Barith. I guess that's fine. I'm Barith. There is no need to fear, Master of Souls. I wholeheartedly pledge my loyalty to you as your mask. All right. Well. Didn't want it, but I guess I'll uh, take it. This was different than expected. Stat bonus. Ow, ow. All right. That's unfortunate. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, should I try again? I really don't want to, honestly. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we'll just... Yeah, I'm returning. Yeah, time to head back. All right, keep on failing every time I come here, so I'm just gonna leave for now. I might, when we go into the next dungeon, depending on what personas we get there, I might use some of my persona points to level people up, um, just because I feel like it might help me in the dungeons. Uh, since that boss was kind of hard, um, and other people I know commented and said that they agreed that it was kind of hard, so... I think they were just trying to go ham right off the get-go. Yo, what's up, Ryuji? Yo! Check out those things hanging from the ceiling. They look like aliens. What? They are apparently called streamers. In Sendai, they're known for being topped with a large ball called a Kusudama. Now that I think about it, is it Tanabata celebrated in July? Yes. It looks like Tanabata is observed using the old lunar calendar, so the festival is held a month later, in August. Huh. I don't know if I follow you, but whatever. August rules! Thanks, Ryuji. That was. Are you even trying to get info? <laughs> Just chilling like you do. Uh, is there anyone to talk to? I'm trying to find someone. Would you like some chocolate bananas? They're so sweet and delicious. Hey. Ah, I'm Thanks. good. So sweet. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey, on. Ah, this sucks. Yeah. Find something out. Oh, Akira. I was wandering around the shopping area here. And now I've got sweets on the brain with all those dessert shops and food stands around. The temptation's the worst. Ugh. I almost folded when I saw a place with Gyuton ice cream that also sells chocolate bananas. Huh. <sighs> Alright, sorry about that. I should get back to asking around about Natsume. Yeah, you should. Oh, be careful. Oh, you good? Right. <laughs> hey, lady. Skeptical woman. Oh, you want to know about Ango Natsume? Hmm, you and the rest of society. Everyone's talking about him lately and it makes me sick. Pretentious pricks like that are always hiding something. I heard business has been good lately, thanks to all that Natsume gift merch. People need to wake up. There are plenty of other good authors out there. Okay, alright. Only 2%? Damn! Sorry, my boyfriend was carrying a bunch of plates out of the room and I know he was trying to close the door for me and I didn't want him to like trip down the stairs. Japanese sweet shops, welcome! Yeah! Well, uh, Bamboo Mar Manaka. Oh, here's Fear, okay, here's Rage, and HP Bamboo Yokan, and Gyutan Ice Cream. Alright, I'm the, the, the HP ones, I'm not as worried about. We look forward to your next visit. Yes, thank you, bye. Um, just trying to find people to talk to. General Store, welcome! Thank you, huh? I'm going to Tsume? Of course I know him! It seems like a. Oh, he seems to like our products. A lot of his fans give them to him as a gift. They sell like hotcakes, I tell ya, and it's all thanks to Natsume, haha. -ha. But just between you and me, I'm honestly kind of worried about how much money the fans are spending on all this stuff. Hmm, hmm. That's not unlike what was happening with Alice. She had fans pouring in abnormal amounts of money, too. Care to buy something? Uh, no thank you, but thank what you for the it, percentage. Oh, Chazukemaru Charm. A keychain with a popular local character, plus 20 SP? That is... How many can I buy? Just one? I mean, I'm gonna get it. That's very tempting. Um, a Masamune patch. Oh, an eye patch that evokes feelings of an unparalleled warrior. That's cute. I wonder if I can come back to these cities to sort of buy things that were here. It doesn't seem like we have that ability yet, but who knows. Pineapple shop. Hey there, pal! Interested in trying some chilled pineapple? 
I gave all these people the same voice. I don't mean to, but... Ooh, let me buy how many? Three? Give me that SP recovery. Thank you for the pineapple. Come again, all right? Yeah, if you have more, I will be back. Uh, hey, Yusuke. Something is amiss. Look, Akira. The general store over there is unusually packed with female customers. Perhaps it's just my imagination, but their eyes seem hollow. Your voice changes. I can't... I... My bad, Yusuke. I'm... I'm, <laughs> I'm trying my best. Uh, let's see. Anyone just going left to right to see if there's anything I'm missing? Yakisoba! Delicious yakisoba here for a great price. Come and get some. Unless it heals my SP. I don't... Well, it heals the HP to all allies. I'll, I'll do it. I'll buy three. I'll spend my money. Stop by again soon. Yeah, sure. We tend to run out of SP, so then... Oh, God. Uh, Mount... Go Ryu Fudo in Fudo in Temple. I'm sorry. Like I'm really far from the TV, so my eyes are bad. I didn't know there was a temple here. It's small but kind of distinguished if you really look at it. Apparently, businesses come here for good luck. Please support my store, the Sophia Shop. Girl, we already do. You're the only shop we have when I'm not out and about. Uh, let's see. Vending machine? Are hmm? uh, you gonna get something? Maybe. Ah, uh, Gutan Soda. Sign me up. Starvix. Nasty. They had these in uh, Persona 5, like Starbucks and a uh, nest tea. That's hilarious. Did this say the world's first spicy coffee? Ew. Uh, I'm trying to listen. I'm trying so hard. Uh, a bibliophile, a lover of books. Same. Uh, look at this. Bookworm deleted her social media account. Isn't Bookworm that author you really like? She's been putting out quite a lot of work lately. Maybe she got depressed. Her last post did mention how she's tired of trying to make her voice heard in a vacuum. Do you think Ango Natsume is the cause? Have you read Ango's book? The story and the dialogue, it's so similar to what Bookworm would do. Ooh, he's stealing stories? That punk ass bitch. Hey, be careful. We're talking about Sogo Natsume's grandson here. You'll get flamed if you talk about him carelessly. Hey. Hey, did you hear that? She seems suspicious of Anko Natsume stealing other people's work. I wonder if it's true or just some rumor. Hundo, let's go! Oop, I just hit something. All right. We got plenty of intel now. I'd say it's safe to call it quits. Remember Natsume's autograph session we heard about? This is our chance to see him in person. Let's do some first party reconnaissance. Did I say that wrong? Let's indeed. I'm not done seeing the sights. Uh, hmm. I'm not done seeing the sites. Hold on. I get that. Once you're ready, let's head over to that signing. Okay. I just want to see if there's any other shops that I might miss. There's one over here. Uh, local supermarket. Hello. We've got fresh ingredients in stock. They're delicious. I we've bet they are. What you need. Oh, select coffee beans. Pork. Ah, uh, ooh. I could get some ingredients for cooking. Can buy three. Can you hold up so that's what you're getting? Okay, hold on. Pork, rice, and onion. Is that what we that? needed for curry? Thank you very much. We recommend that. I'm like Can you hold dead that? intense on making things that'll give me more SP, so, so that's what you're getting? Can you hold all that? And now I'm like spending all my money. It's fine, we can always grind for money can if we needed to. Honestly, that? I'm not that worried. So that's what you're getting? Buy some coffee beans. That? So that's what you're getting? Thank you very much. Alright, solid. Thank so we should you. be able to cook some good stuff. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, anything over here? Oh my god, they have a Big Bang Burger here too? There's no day or night in space! Would you like to try the Guton Burger? Only available for a limited time! How can I help you? Big Bang Burger! I think I still have some. Applies Mataru Kaja effect. Oh, that's cool. Well, you know what, I'll buy so one. Thank you so much. Poor Kano. Thank you. I have four Big Bang Burgers. Okay, we're good. Hey, what's going on? Har Haru? My. Oh, hello. I've been asking around the shops here. Apparently, Sendai is in the middle of Natsume fever. Apparently, it's even affecting some of the shop staff. I overheard some complaints that it's getting bad for business. People no call, no showing, or even ditching their shifts partway through to go pick up more copies of Natsume's book. Could it Could be? their hearts have been changed? Oh, I nearly forgot. When I told one of the local restaurant owners that I was on a trip with my friends, he gave me this. It's a hamburger from a local chain using only local ingredients. They said it's very good. Oh, we got two! Nice! Thank you, Haru! Mm. The store owners are real surprised to learn who Haru's family is. 
At first they were all stiff and nervous, but Haru's too warm for anyone to keep that up long. She had him singing in no time. It was crazy seeing how people treat the upper crust, let alone Haru's ability to get him to stop. She is so amazing. Yes, she is. We have an amazing squad. Alright, so let's go back to the... Oh, hello. Uh, wherever the heck the signing was. Which is over down yonder. Get me to... Oh, thank god they put... You know, see, I love that they put a marker. You know, like, this game is so well done. Like, it's not confusing. I'm not getting lost relatively easy to find what I need to get the 100% for an investigation. Um, I'm a fan, and you can save a lot, you know what I mean? So, kudos to them. This game is, uh, I know some people have been commenting too and saying how this game keeps surprising them, and I agree. It's It's been a blast. I really love it so far. Hello, sign my book! He's not gonna sign my book. I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee. Oh, Porto, Ango Natsume's autograph event. That smug bastard's being promoted all over the place! Like I'm going insane! That's quite a crowd for a book signing. Oh, there's so many people. I think I'm gonna throw up. Is he gonna give out his keyword for Emma and change everyone's hearts like Alice did? We should keep an eye on him for now. Um, Natsume-san? I just wanted to say thank you for putting out such wonderful work all the time. I was so touched by your book. I ended up buying 50 copies. Okay, all right. Yeah, well, I bought a hundred. Some to read, some to collect, some to give out, some to... Some to eat, some to sleep on. My goodness. Thank you. I'm flattered. Reading your book somehow gives me hope. Courage to keep going. I won't rest until each and every one of my friends knows about your book. Well, I have said that I want my book to reach as many people as possible. I can't help but feel guilty, though. Be sure you don't overdo it. No, it's okay. I'm helping you because I want to. I heard the reason he started writing novels was for this poor girl who's bedridden in the hospital. Supposedly, he wanted her to keep fighting so she could one day see him finish his novel. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. He's just so compassionate. It's like he's a saint. I know, that story alone's enough to make me cry. I guess even real life is like a novel sometimes. We have to tell the whole world about Ango Natsume's good deeds. And the book signing concluded, and Natsumi and his fans left. Yikes. I'd expected as much, but he's really popular. Do you think that bit about the girl in the hospital is for real? Dude didn't seem like the type, if you ask me. I don't think Natsume said anything resembling a keyword. Could it be because he really isn't a monarch? Or perhaps he's just being careful? If he is the monarch, maybe everyone here's already had their hearts changed. Meaning he wouldn't need to give out his keyword. Hey, Inari, what's that you've been reading? Ango Natsume's novel, Prince of Nightmares. Inari? You actually bought that thing? Why? Are you a fan? Can I read it when you're done? Um, I'm, I'm guessing he's looking for the keyword. That's what I would do. I simply wanted to check whether the content of the book was truly deserving of the fervent praise it's received. Well, how is it? Is it good? Hmm. How should I put it? For any creative work, one should be able to feel some sense of its creator's passion. No matter how crude or unrefined the work may be, there should always be some sort of spark present to those engaging with it. I'm not terribly well versed in the literary arts, but I feel nothing when reading this book. The sentences are formed well enough, but what's here is shockingly hollow. It's as if these words have been taken from someone else and given the most bare minimum coat of paint possible. Let me see. Oh wow, this line here is lifted from an anime from two years ago. The words got changed a bit, but that's definitely it. Sneaky. I think I've seen this one before, too. And this one! Sheesh. This one, too. Wait. Is this whole book just a bunch of stuff he ripped off and strung together? If 
the original writers, or worse, their fans, ever saw this, there'd be a friggin' riot online. I can't possibly fathom how such a fraudulent piece of work garnered this much praise. That is, unless the fans had their desires stolen. It's the power to change hearts, there's no mistake. Yeah, I mean, honestly. With all that we know now, it's safe to say there's definitely something going on here. If only we knew the keyword, we can investigate the jail for ourselves. Think we should ask some of his fans? They've all had their desires taken, right? <sighs> if this is anything like the situation in Shibuya, I doubt they'll tell us anything. Guess we're kind of stuck then. Have we heard anything from Gramps yet? He said he'd be here by tonight. Maybe he learned something. All right then. I guess we should go ahead and wait for Inspector Hasegawa then. Hmm. Hold on. Why do you think Natsume wrote this novel? For money, for fame. I mean, it might be like Alice, where maybe it actually started off from like a heartfelt place, but then it got warped, kind of like hers did. You know how she was bullied and she just wanted to be a ray of light for people? Like, maybe he did write it for some girl who was sick in a hospital, but, um... Or he could just be trash from the start. I mean, not every villain needs to have some heartfelt backstory that makes you sympathize with them. Like, not all of them need some element of human... Oh my god. Humanity within them. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. Um, to be determined. I hope not every villain in this game is like that because like in Persona 5 it wasn't like she sh I forget I can't remember the name of the guy at the end but he wasn't really like he had no heartwarming backstory to make me feel bad for him like I did not so they're capable of it but I don't know so hmm maybe for fame but I would or I mean if it's for money to like pay for that girl's surgeries I don't know and then he just got like hooked on it I have no clue I'm just gonna just being honest in all honesty I'm not sure myself no matter how much praise your work receives if it was built on the backs of others then you cannot truly call that praise your own yeah Yusuke knows that all too well right you know with Matarame hits home those compliments will surely ring empty. Anyone in the arts should know this. What's interesting is that what seems... I, I Sorry I keep talking, but it seems like each one of these monarchs somehow relates to one of our crew members so far. Because, like, Alice was, like, a model who wants to be a ray of light for others. And that's what On is, basically. And she had that whole, you know, battle with modeling in Persona 5. Now we've got Yusuke, who had his work stolen by Matarame, so he knows all about someone else taking credit for someone else's artistic work and sort of the the damage that does to a person and how like corrupt that makes the stealer's heart become. So it's interesting. I wonder if each one's gonna have some tie to one of our crew members, you know what I mean? Which would be cool to see, um, but that's just the vibe I'm getting. Maybe I'm like, it's just a coincidence, but it seems like they might be trying to go that route. So, pretty cool. I like it. That is why I don't understand. What was he thinking when he wrote this novel? What are you two doing? Let's get going. Uh, my apologies. It wasn't my intention to hold you up. Let's be off. Hmm. Yeah, I'm interested to see. I don't know. He might just be a straight up trash bag. Matarame was a straight-up trash bag, for the most part. I mean, he took Yusuke in, but then he just abused his talents, you know what I mean? Pretty nice ride you've got here. And I gotta say, I didn't expect Sendai to be on the agenda. How'd you know there was a jail here? Zen Kichi. Sorry I called you again, Kichi. I think that's an anime character. Well, about that... We have a uh, computer program that smells them out. I smelled it. Nice. Hmm. A monster cat! You smelled it? Anyways, <laughs> have you learned anything new? Ah, yes. Ango Natsume, right? Yeah, he's suspicious, all right. His book's been selling like crazy, but only here in Sendai. 
Most of the other stuff I've heard lines up with what you guys told me. Anyhow, I did some asking around, and here's what I found. Apparently, everyone in Atsume's little fan club becomes friends with him through Emma. And once that happens, they start buying his book any and every chance they get. Some even go into debt because of it. Any of this sound familiar? It's just like what happened with Alice. He might have different methods from Alice Hiragi, but I'm almost certain Natsume is using the same power. In that case, we really need to get our hands on his keyword. Can't we just nab this shithead and make him cough it up? Ugh, do that? And I would have to arrest you for assault. You can ramble on about the jails all you want. Best case scenario is you getting dragged off to a mental institution. Ah, right. Well, we're phantom thieves, so going at it directly is not preferred anyway. Ah, oh, there goes Beauty Thief. Always trying to be elegant and subtle and stuff. Beauty what? Uh, Beauty Thief. She's talking about Haru. My name is Beauty Thief. Ha, <laughs> yeah. I see. She's really calling herself that? It's an inside joke, Zenkichi. You wouldn't get it. Getting back on track, we gotta think of a way to get that keyword. That's where I come in. You better thank me for this later. For what? Natsume's holding a party tonight in celebration of Prince of Nightmares passing over a million in sales. And I just happen to have enough invitations for all of you. Which means... We're crashing a party? Hey, that sounds fun as hell! Don't you think? Oh, hell yeah! This is our chance! I don't have anything to wear! Where did you get those? This is our chance! Let's go! Right. And if it's invite only, there's a chance security will be light as well. So, what do you think? Glad we struck a deal? You did pretty good, Gramps. Yeah, nice one, Gramps! <laughs> yeah! I can't even go that high with my voice. <laughs> oh, that hurt. I must admit, I'm seeing you in a whole new light, Gramps. Yeah, you really came through, Gramps. I knew we could count on you, Gramps-son. Gramps-son! Come on, guys. At least call me by my name. Don't feel bad, Gramps. Nice. Party venue, Prince of Nightmares, one million sold celebration. Thank you all very much for coming today. This is just a small token of my appreciation. Nevertheless, I hope you enjoy yourselves. Congratulations, Mr. Natsume. Truly. It's all thanks to everyone working so hard to push sales. All I did was right. <laughs> oh, you're too modest. It really is impressive how well you've done, considering the amount of competition there is these days. But I know we tried to promote you early on as the grandson of renowned writer Sogo Natsume, but uh, I, I never would have expected you to perform this well. <laughs> The praise you've received is due entirely to your talent, Mr. Natsume. You're a shining star to readers and authors alike. My talent, you say? <laughs> well now, I wouldn't go as far as to say that. The words on the page matter little. If there's something worth talking about, the people will always flock to it. From there, all one needs to do is craft a little story into it. And voila! For example, take that origin story about how I started writing because of some poor girl in the hospital. Pardon my asking, but is that story really true, Mr. Natsume? <laughs> I'm afraid that's my little secret. Truth? Fiction? Does anyone really care? You might recall Ichiryu Saimadarame's confession on TV not too long ago. Surely you remember. His signature piece... What was the name of it? Oh, do you mean the Sayuri? Ah, yes, that's it. The Sayuri. That piece was certainly lauded as the pinnacle of beauty at the time. But if you ask me, the only place it belongs now is the trash. Okay, those are fighting words, bro. I'm about to come through this TV and punch you in the face. <laughs> Dick! Yeah, Ryuji, same. Please, go drop kick him. Come on, drop kick him, drop kick him. The trash? How rude. He has no idea what was put into that painting. Who does he think he is? 
Yusuke, I know how you feel, but... I'm all right. I have a favor to ask. Would you mind if I handled this one? Yusuke just takes out a ninja star and just chucks it at the guy in the face. I promise I'll get the keyword from him. But... There's a good chance he remembers your faces from the other day. However, I was toward the back of the crowd. So there's a good chance he won't recognize me. We'll leave it to you. Do us the honor. Yeah, I trust you wholeheartedly, Yusuke, with anything you want to do, so... You go. Right. Yusuke might be our best bet here. Good luck. Thank you. I'll be off then. Although I find it hard to believe that this guy hasn't noticed us standing here. Like, I don't know. Pardon me for interrupting. I happen to be a big fan of yours, Natsume-san. Like, he doesn't see us right now when he's facing in our direction. Hmm. <laughs> Who are you? Forgive me. I was hoping I might trouble you for an autograph. Hey, Mr. Natsume is a busy man. You can trouble him later. <laughs> Come now. I'm sure one autograph won't hurt. <sighs> you mean it. My thanks, Natsume-san. You're too kind. To receive an autograph from the great Ango Natsume himself. This honor is truly more than I deserve. Nonsense. Don't sell yourself short. It's readers like you who allow authors like me to keep writing. I see. That's a wonderful way to look at it. Oh, right. Do you by any chance use Emma Natsume-san? Of course. With how convenient it is, how could I not? If you don't mind, could you please add me to your friends list? It would be a privilege to be closer to one I respect so greatly. <laughs> Not at all. My fans and readers mean the world to me. The keyword is Prince of Nightmares. Thank you very much. Expect a request from me sometime soon. Now, there is one more thing. I overheard you and your entourage mention the Sayuri earlier. If I'm not mistaken, you said it should be thrown out with the trash, as though it were some cheap attempt. Ah, so you heard that, did you? Is that what I said? Well, I take it someone of your taste agrees with me? Punch him in the face. Punch him in the face! In the end, that painting only held value because of whose name was attached to it. Madarame had it. The Sayori was painted by my mother. <laughs> this may be unprofessional of me, but... Professionalism be damned. My mother painted the Sayori at the cost of her own life. It is her final masterpiece. That painting is crafted with a love that simply cannot be found anywhere else. Don't you dare lump it in with that soulless drivel you cobble together from authors far more talented than you. <laughs> hey, you can't! I merely spoke the truth. Now, if you'll excuse me. We've got what we came for. Let's head outside, yes? <sighs> Soulless drivel! That little bastard! What the hell does he know? Yeah, it, it, it's all right, Mr. Natsume. He's just, uh, looking to blame you for something because he's jealous of your genius. Don't let him get to you. Shut up! Uh. <laughs> no matter. He'll come around just like the rest. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. My apologies. I couldn't hold myself back. I suppose I still have much to learn. Dude, don't sweat it. Everything worked out. We got the keyword, so we're all good. Yeah, you did great. I was actually pretty impressed with how you stood up to him. Well, I can't say my assessment of his book was entirely correct. Whatever someone feels from a work of art, no matter what that work may be, ultimately comes down to the individual. Yeah, well, for what it's worth, we all loved seeing you stick it to that creepy Nari. In any case, we've got the keyword now. All that's left is to find our entry point. Sendai Station would be a good place to look. Hmm? How come? 
The smell isn't as strong there. The security's probably more lax. The station should be a safe point of entry, just like in Shibuya. So I guess we're doing it then. Yeah, we've got everything we need. Tomorrow, that jail's getting a visit from the Phantom Thieves. Oh yeah. Hey, there's something I wanted to ask you. Yusuke might have been acting calm just now, but he seemed rather sad. Why was that? I think he was shocked. He probably felt insulted because he's an artist too. Um... Yeah, I think it's because he's an artist. Because Yusuke takes art like so passionately as something like of beauty. So he's probably just sad to see someone like, you know, shitting on it in any form. You know, his mom's painting or just like writing. So, I feel for him. I'm writing a novel myself, so like hearing someone just like trash a novel, I'm just like, oh my god, this guy's a douchebag. <laughs> I don't like him at all. Oh, I see. So when someone disrespects something important to you, it makes you more sad than angry. Uh, it's possible. It depends on the person. Yeah, that's true. At the very least, Yusuke seemed to feel that way. I think I'm starting to understand him a little better now. Thank you for explaining that to me. You're welcome. We are best friends. I went back to the RV and got some rest. Bond! Oh god. I've been waiting for you. Sup, Lavenza. The desires in this place have been stolen as well. The voices of countless hearts are stirring about. At the same time, I can feel the threat of the calamity is only growing stronger. I have called you here to deliver important news. The bonds you have forged will now impart an even greater power to your personas. This new power, it seems it was born from a connection you've made during your travels. This will become the sustenance that will further nurture your potential. Cherish it dearly. Uh, I'll do just that. I don't follow. Yeah, I'll do it. No worries. I admit I'm somewhat jealous. There is no doubt that they will give you the strength needed to cut through fate. Increases damage for physical persona skills. Increases damage for magical. Oh! Increases chance for persona skills to inflict ailments. Increases duration for buffs and debuffs. Nice, okay. Powering up skills with bond. A new set of bond skills have been unlocked. These allow you to strengthen the skills of your personas. Be sure to take advantage of this new power in future battles. That's really nice, actually. A lot of my points are going to be going towards those, I feel. May luck be on your side. I don't need luck. I uh, just need to be good at dodging. <laughs> That's what we really need. Oh, my back. Ow. <laughs> I'm so tired. Me and Ryuji just stretched at the same time. <laughs> Snap out of it, Ryuji. We're about to head in. I know, I know. I was so excited last night, I couldn't sleep. What, you think it's Christmas morning or something? Any idea how big this place is? Can you tell, Sophia? Based on the smell, I'd say it covers nearly all of Sendai. It's quite big. Considering what's happening throughout the city, the scale makes sense. But that's all coming to an end. Let's go. Time to get to work. We'll save this city. Anyone know that song? Uh, what's that? We built the city? Oh my god, I love that song. Right. We're heading into the Sendai Jail. Let's -a go. Hey. So, we've got ourselves a mobile hideout. Pretty convenient. And I've gotta say, it sure does make the Phantom Thieves even cooler. Nehehe. <laughs> Once you think everyone's good and ready, let's meet at the hideout and infiltrate the jail. We're counting on you, Akira. You're always counting on me, man. Alright, sounds good. So, this has been a bit of a long episode. Sorry about I that. But, a lot of cool stuff going on. Um, I, you know, I'm starting to think that... I mean, obviously, Emma has to do with all of this. And that's made by that company, Medici, or whatever. I'm starting to wonder if it's, like, somehow pinpointing people who are very desperate and in need of help. And, like, somehow by watching them through their phone or whatever, and it's sort of giving them this power 
because they know that it'll manifest and sort of corrupt and sort of allow them to sort of control mass groups of people. Um, Cause like, Alice was so desperate to like rise above the bullying and if this guy was so desperate to maybe help someone in the hospital, that could have been what triggered them to reach out to him and give him this power through Emma. So that's kind of my like thought right now, sort of maybe how it's all related. Um, but who knows? Uh, that's just kind of like uh, my guessing. My, I like to hypothesize and think about what might be the cause or the connection. So a lot of cool stuff going on though. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to keep going. So uh, once again, thank you guys so much for your supported series. Um, I'm having a blast. I love seeing our characters. I love this new story and the new mechanics and everything. It's good, it's fresh, and it's exciting. So, uh, as always, you know, feel free to leave a like, comment, favorite, or subscribe, whatever you guys are feeling. And until the next time, lights off, dark out.